Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I am going to replace the magnetic Seymour Duncan mag mic in this particular acoustic. I have had, um, I've got three of these pickups fitted in three different guitars and for some reason this one has been not so reliable. I'm still super happy with the Seymour Duncan mag mics. Um, what I have figured out appears to be happening is it should only draw off the battery when you have the pickup plugged in. You're using it, right? For some reason, this one appears to be using power all the time. So that means that the battery life drains a lot quicker. That is a pain in the backside for a performing guitar because to change the battery I actually need to take the strings off because the um, you know you need to put the the battery compartment inside the guitar so you know um, whether it's up here which is on one of the other guitars or down against the neck like it is on this one um, it's still quite tight to try to replace really quickly in a live show situation which I've had. So my plan is I have bought myself a brand spanking new one. I want to fit that one and then I'm going to give this other pickup to somebody a lot more experienced than me because I have like zilch experience um, and see if they can maybe rewire it or figure it out, salvage it and then I'll have a spare. Um, I mean, it still works fine. It sounds wonderful. It's just that for a performance perspective, I don't find it reliable enough and I need that. So I'm going to take you guys through fitting this beautiful bad boy here. So it comes in a pretty basic box. They used to come in plastic. So I'm actually really stoked that they have changed over to these cardboard boxes now. Um, that makes me very, very happy from an environmental perspective. When I get these ones in the little boxes, I feel like I'm giving myself this really cool present. I love the boxes. Um, so yeah, here is the pickup without, and I just get all the packaging off. It's like an unboxing video now. Here it is. So obviously this is the section that goes in the sound hole. That's your battery compartment. And this is the bit that gets fitted in the side of the guitar for the input. I am lucky. As I said, I'm only replacing this. I'm not fitting it for the first time. Um, when I got it fitted for the first time, yes, I did get a luthier involved. I then had them just bore out the... Um, where the guitar strap should go. Just made that hole slightly bigger so as it could take the attachment that they give with the pickup. Um, some people get it fitted alongside where their other one is. Um, it's just my paranoia. Like I've seen people do that and the horror stories where it actually ends up splitting through. And I know that that probably doesn't happen often, but I just got super paranoid and because I sit down to perform anyway, I'm like, you know what? There's already a hole there. So I'm quite happy with that hole being slightly bigger as opposed to putting another hole in my, my beautiful guitar. Um, I will say that although these are designed for straps to go on, on the occasion when I've played with a band and I have stood up, I don't find this feel super secure. Um, so I actually end up like gaff taping the strap on this end because I've had it give way before and you know horror scenarios of guitars dropping from that kind of height. We all know the sad 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 stories. So anyway enough of that let's get the strings off and um, yeah we'll fit this pickup hey. So since it was a little bit like an unboxing video I'll show you that it does of course come with your little instructions and things like that in here plus your clips and your little velcro for the battery holder as well so of course the first step is get the strings off the guitar i have always liked to um release the pressure on the strings before i cut them 
Um, I just think, you know, that's a lot of tension change for a guitar to go through, for them to go from holding this amount of tension to just like snapping it. And yes, it happens when you snap a string, but generally you don't snap multiple strings at the same time. So this is my preferred method anyway. I'll fast forward this section so it's not so boring for you guys. Next I'm also going to put like a little bit of tape over the bridge here because of course I really just don't want it flopping around or potentially losing it while I'm working on the guitar. I just find the electrical tape good for this myself because it doesn't seem to leave much of a sticky residue but I'm sure everyone's got their like favourite kind of idea out there. Alrighty, time to remove the pickup. So I just got to loosen the screws slightly. Obviously they're not ridiculously tight, so it doesn't take much just to slip it out. Haha, <laughs> yeah, slip it out. <laughs> That's the battery. And then inside the guitar, I won't be able to film, but those little clips are in there. So I've just got to open them up in order for me to get the cables out. And last of all, this is actually only kind of finger tight, yep. Just to be able to do that. Right, and then this bit, I just need a little, yeah, I need a little spanner. Just loosen it off, that was easy. Not oh, finger tight now. Yeah, it's all it needed. It's just that little bump. And washer. Now it'll just slide out and I've got hold of it in the guitar. And then carefully lift it out. Like voila, because you can see there's still a few little bits on the end. So you need to be careful that they don't fall off in the guitar because they're kind of a pain to, to fish out if you do. And that's it. The old one is now out. Time to fit the new one. Right, so I'm just going to pause for a minute so as I can explain one of my decisions I've made. I've decided to leave the battery on the, uh, the neck there rather than on the upside of the guitar now I, reason being i have one that has the battery stored there it constantly comes loose because of gravity hey gravity kind of allows it to um to drop it off a lot more even though the velcro is like the strongest you can get and i've replaced it it holds but it's not as solid as this one's been on the neck so there's my decision. That's one last job. I'm going to use the Velcro that's already in there. So the interesting thing about fitting it is it's um it's just doing what I did <laughs> in reverse. Who knew? <laughs> so once I get this all untied, untangled, how oh, super simple. See, if it's already been fitted before, I reckon anyone can do this. If I can do it, anyone can. All right, we start with the uh, potentially hardest bit, which is refitting this in the hole. Once again, take off the little nut and the washer. Other thing I learnt the hard way is make sure, I mean it's all in the instructions anyway, I probably should read them just to double check that I'm doing it the right way, but you've got this little, um, there's a proper name for it, but a lumpier washer, <laughs> a grippy washer. That one needs to be on the inside of the guitar because that'll stop it, it spinning and and loosening once it's it's in there. So for this bit, I'm also going to remove all of my jewellery because I don't know what I'm more worried about, actually, the guitar, I think. But um, I don't particularly want to lose my, lose a diamond off my engagement ring in there either. Or wedding ring. All 
right. Oh my god, you know what? Oh. I haven't removed the plastic sleeve. <laughs> okay, trying again. Might need to change how deep the, they are on the inside, but I'll have a look first. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to tighten it enough. You can see here what I'm talking about. This is the old one. This is the new one that I'm trying to fit. And you can see that threads in a different spot. So I just need to shimmy it along so that they're in roughly the same position so that it will fit properly when I go from the inside. Okay, that's looking like it's a bit length. We'll soon find out. Before I tighten it up completely, I just want to have a little scout. See, that's not quite enough. No, it's a little bit too short. I can kind of twist it a little bit while it's in there. And just give me a little bit more. Alright, that should be good there because it's kind of that it's flush now. Yep. Just check before I tighten everything again. Put it on the right way. But it's going to, yeah, cool. So I've just got to tighten it up, tighten up that hex nut, and then I can put the um, strap button on. That one only needs to be finger tight. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so once we get to this stage, whoops, I'm dropping stuff everywhere now. That's great. There's a little hole on the side here. Got a little tiny Allen key. Okay, so that bit's done. I will add that if this um, uh, is spinning around, you can't and you can't tighten it up. Then just make sure that the where's my old one? You can shift this one in on the inside of the guitar in a little bit more so there's less less room between the two nuts and that's what will tighten it up particularly with this little one on the um, the inside gripping it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so next on the inside of the guitar you can see these little clips. If I get my finger in the way then the, then the camera's got no chance of actually focusing on it. So now you can see the wires just clamped in there. Right, now it's ready to restring.
So there we have it. The new pickup is fitted and ready to go. I will also add that when I first got it, you can do like a temporary um, rig rather than fix it permanently if you just want to have a go and see if it's actually the tone that you're after. So I had just originally, it's a bit of a pain, but I used, I'll use the old one as an example. I used some electrical tape and I just kind of taped it to the outside like so and then left this you know jack port just hanging out openly um, and yeah I actually did a couple of gigs that way just to see if I was happy with the setup before I had it, um, the first one fitted permanently so you can kind of do that as well without having to get um, that whole board out a little bit bigger if you would like to. I hope the, um, the video has been of some sort of interest to you and um, as always thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you next time. So I'm just going to pause for a minute for a slight little um, uh, brain fart. Um, <laughs> the battery. Oh my god be louder! Me? Yeah!